Ladies and gentlemen, hey, hi, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. It's been a bit since Black Ops 6 has dropped and usually around this time, we start to get some new information on the season one update. And while we do already have some more ambiguous, more broad stuff in terms of what to expect with the update, the launch date, obviously it happening on November 14th, we really haven't seen too many leaks for season one from actual data mines and in-game stuff, at least up until now, because Late yesterday, we actually got several new weapon leaks for the Season 1 update. Our very first new weapons coming to Black Ops 6, then of course Warzone as well, since that'll be a part of the Season 1 update with the Black Ops 6 Warzone integration. So today, we're breaking down what exactly these leaks are and a bit more of what to expect as we see new weapon updates throughout the year with Black Ops 6 and also with Warzone as well. So as we dive into the details here, quick reminder, if you are new to the channel every single day, I got you guys covered with all things going on in Call of Duty, whether it is news, updates, leaks, rumors, meta breakdowns, it's all right here. So feel free to hit that subscribe button, turn on those post notifications. Just over 50% of you guys watching are not subs. So if that's you, we'd love to have you join us on the road to 1 million. And if you enjoy this video, a like rating is always seriously appreciated as well. But first things first, as always, whenever we are talking about leaks, especially weapon ones like this that are directly from data mined files, we got to take everything with a grain of salt. This is not 100% confirmed information. Obviously, this is not stemming directly from Call of Duty themselves. This is from game files. This is purely leaked information. So things could be altered, scrapped, changed, even removed over time, which we've seen happen several times before. So until we see it on a roadmap, in a tweet, in a trailer, take everything with a grain of salt. But this information is stemming from a couple of different Twitter accounts, some data miners in the community. Vondi is Pog, and then also Fumo leaks. And first things first, we actually have four new weapons that have been leaked for season one. Some interesting choices, I gotta say. As we know with this whole seasonal system that we've seen in COD for the past several years, we usually see anywhere between two and five ranged weapons in a season. We usually see two or three at launch as a part of the battle pass, they're in the free tiers, and then potentially one or two with the mid-season or the reloaded updates, and those are free through like in-game challenges or unlocks like that. We'll have to see how it goes this year because we're not gonna have the weekly challenge system, obviously, since there's no aftermarket parts. So the mid-season weapons will be interesting to see how they're approached. I imagine that's information that we're gonna end up getting once we see a roadmap reveal and everything going on there. But as far as the weapons themselves go, like I said, we've got four. The first one we've got is going to be the SAR-80 assault rifle. So a new rifle right away. You're gonna notice a pattern as we get later on into Black Ops 6, uh, season, you know, two, three, four, five, they typically end up dropping more and more uh, DLC weapons that are based around the more popular categories the later we get on into the year because they know players oftentimes use rifles more, they use SMGs more, they use snipers more, and then some of the earlier seasons might be a bit more gimmicky just as, hey, look, we've got new content here. But the SAR-80 is that first rifle leak for season one. We also have another rifle. This time, though, it's a marksman, and it's actually the FAL, which is kind of an interesting choice because the Goblin MK2 in-game, which is already an assault rifle, is very similar to the FAL in both uh, look and feel, that being just a semi-auto spammable gun. But obviously, the FAL is an icon in Black Ops. I remember back in Black Ops 1, the FAL was one of my absolute favorite weapons in the game. And you think back to recent years, I mean, the FAL from MW 2019 and Warzone was an absolute beast. So to have that back, obviously, would be a ton of fun to see. So those are our two main primary weapons that have been reportedly leaked for season one and do keep in mind as new weapons are dropping throughout the year if you're someone who's grinding out camos going for dark matter or any of the zombies camos eventually war zone camos as well when they have that base requirement of needing 33 weapons to be uh you know unlocked for diamond uh dark spine whatever right you can actually start to use dlc weapons in year to replace some of the original base ones that maybe you don't want to use maybe they're weapons that are annoying they're difficult you're just not very good with them you could use a new rifle to replace uh, an old rifle that just wasn't good or replace a launcher down the road right in certain scenarios so uh you know the better the dlc weapons are the easier the camo grind in turn becomes as well but just the assault rifle the sar-80 and the fal are not the only new weapons we've seen we also apparently have a new pistol coming and this again is one that i think a lot of players are going to enjoy it is the 5.7 of course another classic when it comes to black ops a pistol that we've seen several times before not even just in black ops in call of duty in general i've seen a lot of comments already saying it's kind of weird that we don't have a 5.7 in Black Ops 6, right? Like, can't believe they launched without it. Well, Season 1 seems to be introducing that. And then the final weapon that 
that we have here quite frankly i don't think this one's going to be very popular it is the m72 law launcher it's not very often that we see a dlc launcher in call of duty very rarely are they ever actually usable or are uh you know super popular with the community no one's rushing to jump on and unlock the new launcher dlc but like i said usually in the earlier seasons they drop some of those gimmicky ones just to say hey we have a new dlc weapon for every category by the end of the year or something like that right but uh between the rifle marksman handgun and launcher quite a few different pieces of content as i mentioned though that'll be split up between presumably launch with the battle pass then also the reloaded update and keep in mind we also talked a little bit back uh, about a potential reloaded update after the reloaded update the season 1.75 update that was found in the files so maybe they split up the weapons even more we see maybe two at launch one with the mid-season or the reloaded update and then another one in like week six or whenever that theoretical 1.75 update could end up launching like maybe they split it up like that Curiously enough though, just our four base standard universal weapons, keep in mind all these weapons, the SAR-80, the FAL, the 5.7, and the LAW are going to be available in multiplayer, zombies, and also Warzone as well with Season 1. They are global weapons. Those aren't the only weapons that were actually found in the files. This next one though is a bit more specific. Fumo Leaks is reporting the files uh, actually reference the Ray Gun Mark II. So for zombies here, obviously, it looks like that could actually be dropping here soon. This one is not nearly uh, as clearly a potential season one weapon. This could be even further on down the road, uh, as opposed to some of those base multiplayer ones that might be a bit more obvious as universal early update weapons. But the Ray Gun Mark II does appear like it could also uh, be happening here at some point within Black Ops 6 Zombies. Now, here's the thing with weapon updates this year. Yes, every single season is going to see this sort of routine update. Uh, where we do see those two to four maybe two to five new ranged weapons however in comparison to modern warfare 3 we're definitely not going to see as many significant content based weapon updates because obviously we don't have those aftermarket parts the devs have already said previously aftermarket parts really aren't necessarily a thing they're more so focused on having interesting one-off attachments on weapons that might change something to like the crossbar or uh you know alter a weapons behavior or performance in some way or another rather than having it be a full-on true aftermarket part so you know weekly updates as mentioned they already confirmed aren't necessarily going to be a thing weekly events aren't necessarily going to be a thing we may see you know community events like what we had back in the day i think black ops 3 did a lot of those if i remember correctly where it's like hey as a community if we get 5 million kills we'll go through we'll unlock this new melee weapon we'll unlock the new marksman or something like that perhaps they go through and they do some in-season updates like that obviously that's all information that will be fully revealed once we get into the season one roadmap the season one blog and some of the official reveals and announcements from Treyarch and from Call of Duty and quite frankly that stuff is not that far away with season one coming up here on November 14th we should start to see uh, actual season one marketing and reveals and announcements maybe in just a week's time and obviously once that stuff does surface or perhaps as we get more leaks here in the coming days for season one I'll be keeping you guys in the loop with all the need to know info so if you want to guarantee you're up to date you don't want to miss anything feel free to hit that subscribe button turn on those post notifications and if you enjoyed the video a like rating on your way out would be seriously appreciated but that's going to wrap things up for this one once again thank you so much for tuning in and until next time take it easy have an awesome rest of your day and i'll catch you guys later peace out